Hello and welcome to Good Clean Gaming. I'm your host, Shalendo, and today we're playing some more Galactic Civilizations 3 in the tutorial series. And um, we have a growth, population growth issue. So we're going to be going down this line, which will give us uh, the Zeno Farm, Colonial Hospital, the Planetary Soil Upgrade, going through the Accelerator Growth plus 10% growth. This will be plus 10% growth in that one. That one's plus 10% growth. Uh, this one we can't get to yet, but it's plus 10% growth. And then we can also look over some of these to see if there's any we can get an extra 10% or, or extra food or anything like that. So let's do that. Um, there we go. That's our new tech. Shouldn't take long. Idle ship. Let's see, here's an idle ship. I th No, they're not idle. They're going this direction. Okay, they're going down to Tracy. Where's our idle ship? Idle ship's here. This is the one that can't invade. We're up to 10% now. Let's see, defender power is zero. So this is what confuses me is, to me, defender power of 0.0, .0 means 100% success. I could be wrong. See, it's got planetary defenses 50%. So they're actually building planetary defenses now, which I guess is what's must be what's stopping me. Um, so yeah, definitely going for the growth. Idle ship. Where's the idle ship? We're going to make you guard here. Idle ship here is going to go meet up with the fleet somewhere. There is no fleet, is there? Yeah, we're all fleeted out. There's going to be fleets coming that way, so we're going that way. Going that way, and going that way. And one here as well. Turn. Now we got to actually keep an eye on stuff, make sure nothing's trying to be... No one's trying to build any ships and invade us, or no one's building shipyards and such like that. Not what I wanted to get into with this playthrough, but it's all right. Could also build. I could also build a star base to extend our range out to here. We're going to stop building these transports for now because our growth rate is so minimal that it's not really going to make sense for right now. So cancel that. Uh, we will go with just encircling every planet on the map. And blowing up everything on the map. And then if we're able to do that, it's pretty much game over. So we'll call it at that point. Plantar improvement. Yes, accelerated growth. I think, actually, at the end of this episode, we're going to be in a position where we're just going to call it because it's just going to be, you know, I mean, it's just going to be over. I mean, if you look at the map, if you look at the graphs, the power graph, economic power, I mean, we are military power. We are so far ahead of everybody in everything but population, we are so far ahead of everybody. It's not even, it's not even right. It's not even fair anymore. So, yeah, this will be the last episode. We'll see what we can get done, and then we'll call it good. See, they're all going over there, but they can't get over there because I haven't built a star base or anything. Let's go. Um, let's go say hi to the uh, to the iridium. Let's go, you know, invade their planets and whatnot. Redirect all of our forces that way. We have another one somewhere. Okay, they're meeting up here. Okay, cool. Idle ship, go here. Nope. Oh, go here. Go here. You go here. Yes. Idle ship. You go here and you pass. No. Wrong button. Got too much going on now. Idle ship down here. We can't actually get over there right now. So you're going to have to go somewhere else right now. How about up to here? Okay. Command. Uh, pff, nothing. Turn. <laughs> Getting lost with all the ships uh, around everywhere. Man, look at that mini map. That's beautiful. Victory conditions. I'm telling you, we are we are so close. It says twenty three percent, but we're so much more powerful than everybody else. It's not even not even funny. Research, accelerated growth. Okay, cool. Xenobiology is next. This will get our growth going at least a little bit. And point two. So it's it's it was point one earlier. It's point two now. That's a that's actually a big improvement. All right, you guys, 
let's just have you go over here. You are going to need you in Iridium anyway. And we'll have somebody meet you over there. Idle ship. Idle ship. You, you go down there. And then new fleet goes... We might need another one up here somewhere. I don't know. It's probably overkill. Idle ship. Too many idle ships. This is getting on my nerves. <laughs> I can actually feel it lag. I have so many ships going everywhere at the same time. Go ahead and pass. 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 Turn. Hey, Arconia's got a little star base up here, I just noticed. I just want to blow up your planet. I'm so mad at you for building defenses. I wasn't expecting it. Research, xenobiology, keep it going. Population enhancement, it's another plus 10% plus growth. Uh, where are we at? Down here. A little bit of lag, zooming in and out like this. Got too much going on. Too much going on. Send you over there. Idle ship. I have too many idle ships. Guard, leave me alone. Stop asking me to send you to places. I don't have to. Do I have to give you every order? I, I, yeah, I, I guess I kind of do have to give you every order. <laughs> Come to think of it. Okay, idle ship. Let's just blow up these guys. They're still building these ships, and I don't like it. I don't know why I'm suddenly having lag like this. Seems to be when I switch from this this view to the close-up view. There we go. Pass. Planetary bombardment. 100%. See, we got the 100% again. I guess it was just, you know, at some point you need more troops, I guess. Start. There goes that one. 4.7's on that planet. You know what we could be doing? I didn't actually plan for this, but you can... You can land on a planet, and you should be able to eject from that planet and take everybody left off that planet, and that's your new uh, that's your new invading force right there. Look at that. We don't need these planets to have people on them. I mean, we're not using them for anything. So just just take take the take the transport ship, land it on the colony, and then take off from the colony, and boom, new invasion force. Easy peasy. We're gonna send you over to here. That'll allow us to take over the last of the Thalen. We'll take their people and send them over to the Kryn, etc., etc. Hey, new civilization we just found. Uh, you need to go here, pick up some troops. Yes, and leave. And that'll be our new strategy from now on. If we don't have enough troops, we just pick them up from the uh, planets we conquer and move on. And that pretty much gives us everything we need to win this game. So let's do this down here. Let's grab what planet has a lot of people on it. 3.4. See, these will probably have enough to where I can just, just offload, onload and offload people from these planets onto the other planets. And we'll be able to invade this planet and some of these planets. And Iridium will be going down soon, hopefully. 8.1. Yeah, we need we need more people. Down here. Idle ship again. Where I, I got lost. There we go. Found it. Idle ship down here. We're gonna, we need you to grab some people, too. And you, too. So how about you guys go... Grab them from down over here. Pick up as many troops as you need from the old Dringin' homeworlds. And take them with you. 100%. Thalen. Down. Destroyed. Land. And. Pick up. Got some more here. 
Got some more. Oh, did I do that wrong? Yeah, you need to you need to go here. You need to inject your separate fleet. You need to be here. Join up with them. You have a lot of troops on you, so we're gonna move you to take on the Kryn. Oh, I don't know what I clicked. I don't know what I clicked. I clicked things that I shouldn't have clicked. Cancel. 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 I have no idea what, what I clicked. Okay, good. Idle. Need. Colony ship. Okay, turn. Research. Population. What else can we get? We can't get anything down that line, so we're going to go down some other lines. Improves terrain effects. This improves food production. I don't really care about food production. Does any of this give growth, though? Food just gives more population cap. It doesn't give population growth. But, hey, I'm willing to try it. Go down here. Go down here, turn. I think with this discovery of, of just, you know, landing on the planet you should conquer, I did not even think about doing that. That's actually really ingenious. Land on the planet you, you already conquered, pick up the people, take them to the new planets that, that you can then use. You can basically use conquered peoples to conquer other peoples. It's, it's just, uh, that's just amazing. Did not even think about that. Why don't you guys go pick up some more people over here? And you, you we may need you for uh, the invasion of um, Iridium. You're right here. Can you? You can invade because there's actually people in vor orbit there. Uh, pick up some troops over here and come back. Research, food, manufacturing costs. Let's go with food. It'll give us higher pop uh, cap. I don't think that really helps growth. I could be wrong. I could be completely misunderstanding how growth works. Very possible, considering the, the number of mistakes I've made. But, you know, it happens. You, we're all still learning. Well, as of recording this this video, I think we're all still learning. I think if you're watching this video like a year and a half, you're going to be saying, what in the world is this guy doing? He's a complete idiot. That's not the way you play this game. But uh, for now, I think I'm doing pretty good. Uh, you guys need to turn around and go here and here. And I think I sent too many people. Sent too many ships. I am over -shipified. Uh, we're not going to invade quite yet. Next turn, possibly. Okay, let's see what we can invade. Can we invade you? Ooh, they actually have a sizable... Oh, nice. They actually have a good defense. Missiles away, apparently. Yeah, we totally got him. All gone. That's a big. That's probably the the biggest uh, resistance we've faced so far. Zero percent here. We need more. We need to use that trick we uh, we discovered. Blow them up. Fifty four percent. I'm not willing to risk that. We'll just we'll just wait in in in, in orbit here. Go ahead and blow up the shipyard. Blow up this. Little troop there. Go here, blow up that shipyard. Let's see if we can invade here. Hundred percent, yes we can. How about you? Quick battle. Ninety one percent. Victory. Okay, those are taken. That was quick. You're going up there. You're going to go here. We're gonna have more people. 
more uh, transports get more people and send them your way. Okay, we got a we got one here. We can pull up everything off Kona, the old drinking homeworld. Send it over to let's send it over to Kryn. Go ahead and take them down since they're currently at war with us, even though not really doing a good job of it. Launch these. Take everything off Dringy. We could leave some. Let's leave some in case somebody else needs needs troops. Send them here. We'll send them eastward after that. Actually, we'll send them to there. Any other docked ships? There's one here. There's one. Eject. Take 2.2. Send them over again here. Getting this working a little better. You. You have 2.3. Yes. Yes, you do. You're going to help us invade Kryn over here. You have 2.5. Perfect. That should be enough to pretty much blow Kryn out of the water. Okay. Idle ship. Uh, let's go here and go here. And you guys are just going to have to wait because we don't we don't have the uh you guys don't have the people to actually invade right now. Actually, is this still that's 45% now. It's actually going down the longer we stay around here. No, no, no. Research labs. We know how this works. Okay. Uh, idle ship. Where are you going? You're not going anywhere, apparently. Okay, there's, there's a troop. Eject with 2.5. Send them over to here. We'll have them drop on that planet. You're going to go there, pick up some troops. You're going to go there, pick up some troops. Idle ship. We're going to just guard right here. Oh, now they're, they declared war on us. Now they're asking for peace. I think they've realized we've caught on to their little schemes. And we are coming for them. Tracy one A. Hey, I didn't see this area down here. They might actually have another planet down here somewhere. Nifty. Good job, scouts. You have 2.5. You have 2.6. I'm going to send you down here. Might as well take out this planet so it's not a problem later. Accelerated agriculture. Intensive farming. Food distribution. Let's see what that does. Haven't even, tr even tried that one. Or I don't remember if I've tried that one. Go pick up from, this planet has 1.3, this planet has 4.4.1. Grab it from that planet. Idle ship. Go down here somewhere. This planet can go over here somewhere, I don't know. <laughs> you have 0.5, you have 0.5. You guys are both stationed there. We still can't get there, though. Go pick up some people. Seriously. From anywhere. I don't care. 5.6. 3.8. Grab grab from over there. It's, I know it's a long way. You'll, you'll make it back. Don't worry. Idle ship. You guys are going to guard. I don't want anything happening over in this area. We still have troops. We still have a couple people there. We can... We can get a transport over here to grab these folks that will work excellently probably should start building more transports now now that we actually have transports you know it's population for our transports we can start building those again okay sudden shade redo over and over again manage um cancel Sudden shade, redo over and over again. Idle, yes, you're idle because you're waiting for a transport to rendezvous with. You know, I guess these two can come over here. 
and these two can just blow up stuff around here. Like uh, blow up this one and blow up this one. Hey, there's a shipyard. Blow that up. Yes, load ship, load ship. Our sure boy, okay. The humans are getting, Terrans are getting angry at me, so they'll be next to go. We'll be blowing them up. Where can we send this troop? Probably up here. Yes, they have 3.9. Grab those. Grab that population. Grab. Hello, 4. 4.9, 3.9. Grab that one. I'll grab these two as well with our next transport. And blow them up. Uh, blow them up. Okay, they're coming down here. All right, let's ship. At some point, this becomes kind of difficult to keep sorted. Because so much is going on. Don't go there. Why did I do that? Go there. Quick battle. At some point, there's just too much going on to where you can make this interesting for a Let's Play. <laughs> um, seriously. Victory. Relaunch. Eject ship. Um, you can land there. Pick up some more troops since you're kind of empty. Five. No, no. Eject. There. So, like I said, it's, at some point, it's just it's a little much to manage and still remain interesting. This is because um, at some point, you're just watching me click around the map and organize transports and fleets, and you know, do the you know taking over of planets, which aren't isn't really that hard at this point in the game. So that's why I'm kind of I think I'm just going to end it here. Um, you've seen how this strategy works, so just a quick recap before we conclude. You start out with some Zeno Commerce, you min max your custom race if you're using one. You start out with Zeno Commerce Research. Specialize all your planets to be either industry or research or market. Um, I'm adjusting my strategy now to make Zeno Commerce my first tech and then Zeno Industrial my second tech. Um, build the build two industrial planets, maybe three, depending. I mean, it just depends on the map size. If you're on a tiny map, you probably only need one. Uh, your home world and then after that go for a market planet early because otherwise you might run into money problems like i did it just seems like a safer strategy to me once you get the money planet buy all the market um, the industrial factories will build themselves if you recall they'll build themselves very rapidly but the market planet you have to use the money from the market planet to buy the markets on that planet yes i, I realize it is inefficient to transfer income into production and transfer production into income i get that i know that but it still works, and once you get all the market planets bought out on their buildings, you just simply use the money that they're now generating to build the research planets. And the reason why it works is basically your market planets, once they're built up, are acting as production buildings for your research planets. It, it, just, it just works really well once you, once you do it. Um, I, I do get that there's an inefficiency there with you know the research planet. Look at our power, 769. I do get that there's inefficiency with the research planets not being able to build themselves and having to rely on other planets. Yada yada. I, I, I get that, and I, I fair point, honestly. Uh, one way you can adjust this uh, this strategy uh, to be perfectly fair to uh, alternative viewpoints is that you can um, build, say, one or two uh, industries, uh, one or two factories on your planets, and then that will let you kickstart and just basically let those factories build the rest of your buildings that will work as well i just don't like it i like i like having completely specialized planets it works it makes me happy i guess <laughs> so if that i mean honestly if, the, if building a couple of factories on a planet first works for you go right ahead it, it's perfectly fine and we, there's probably honestly there's plenty of strategies to play this game and i'm sure there's other strategies that are much more efficient than this one and i just don't know them so if you have another strategy that works Feel free to comment below and let me know about it. If you have suggestions, comment below. Let me know about it. Um, let other viewers know about it because there, I mean, there's more than one way to play this game. So anyway, enough of me scrolling around the map and babbling on and on about alternatives and you know other ways to play and the strategy. Uh, you get the way this works. So use it in your game. Let me know if they balance it out. Let me know if they if this no longer works once they tweak uh, now that they tweak the AI. If it if it's a lot harder to get this functional fast enough. Um, 
let's find adjustments. Maybe I'll make a future tutorial series with the adjustments. So we'll see. Um, thanks for watching. Thank you for watching the series. Thank you for watching till the end. Feel free to click that subscribe button. You probably have already, but if you haven't, feel free to click that now and you'll see new videos when they get posted. It's a lot easier than searching for my channel every single time. So thanks for watching and remember, keep it clean.